You got East Vita Vea, DJ Reader. I yep. mean, uh, how do you uh, avoid or how do you approach? All these guys have a bigger profile than yeah. any offensive guard. Pretty mm-hmm. much. They're bigger stars than guards. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I would say it just comes down to the game plan that week. Uh, luckily, past four years, I've played most of the guys, so I know like a baseline, like how they're going to play it, like how they want to rush the ball, how they want to read in some certain uh, uh, circumstances. Like some guys are more reader than a penetrator, so you could jump on and get them quick, or like how you want to set up. Maybe it's having a slide one way or another. Like just all comes down to the game plan, just taking it one week and who's that guy that week. Because would you, would you say that? They play games up front, or are they more of a? They're just going to line Washington. up and try to beat the hell out of you, Washington. Uh, they'll occasionally run games, but they want to beat you one on one. They're more of attack. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. After you've been in the league for a while, I mean, maybe like you know your second game as a rookie or something, you might say, you know, oh my God, Quinn Williams. But I mean, you've played so many of these guys yeah. at this point now. It's, Is it like yeah, you still give the everyone NFL. the respect? Yeah. Right. Like it's NFL. Like you know, like you're a great player. They're a great player. So like. Eventually, you're, you're going to lose a rep, and then you just got to throw out and move on to the next one, stuff right. like that. And that's like telling the young guys that, like, you don't want Osiris, like, if he ever loses a rep, like, to get down on himself, just throw that one out, and the next one, like, he's a great player, but you're a great player too, and keep motivating him that yeah. way. You don't make your look- mind think yes, too exactly. Don't race. Right? Yep. I find it's a little crazy that, I mean, Russell Wilson's not exactly a statue. And yeah. They got not only seven sacks, but 14 hits on the guy. That, mm-hmm. I mean, that's kind of. Yeah, you saw the way it? they played it, like, ends and tackles they press that pocket and try to keep them in there and from running around doing russell's things and we just got to be firm in the middle and outside just allow josh to step up if he needs to or roll out of the pocket we got to be firm Wait, what, what are some of the things that stand out about that line obviously like you said you, you've seen him a lot you know if i say washington d line to you what are yeah. the first few things that come to mind uh i've played them for the past four years so i know like one thing i would say they don't give up on anything it doesn't matter if they're up 30 points down 30 points they're gonna, still going to give you the same rush every single time they're going to play the run the exact same way you saw the past two weeks where they've come back from behind. So I would say that like that toughness they try to play with, and we got to match that. Are you like the Washington Encyclopedia this week, more or less? Uh, trying to just trying to help everyone out, just give them a little insight. Like, luckily, like I have a baseline how they play the game, so I can help the guys out around me.